community spotlight. Exposing the true heroes of our community. Five minutes. One show. Let's go. Hi, my name is Doug Lang and I'm here with Community Spotlight and I'm here with Jackie stack -Lagakos. She's here to tell us about her glass mosaics and her bottle walls like the ones behind us. Hi, Jackie. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Now, what made you want to do this? I was originally inspired by Isaiah Zagar in Philadelphia on South Street. He uh, has many, many buildings that are covered in mosaics. But I, uh, I build the bottle walls also uh, because I was inspired by a, a woman out in California who built lots of little cottages out of bottle structures. And having been in the Bricklayers Union, I knew how to use these materials. So um, I decided to embellish our own property. We, we like to... Uh, Decorate it. Yeah, yeah. We, we definitely like to create our own environment. And this is the way we do it. No, you're an art teacher? I'm a teaching artist, which okay. means actually I have no teaching credentials, but I go into the schools as part of State Council of the Arts. I'm sent in through either Perkins Center for the Arts or Apple Farm Arts and Music. And uh, we uh, matching grants are, are gotten, and they bring us into the school, and myself and a collaborative partner who does tile work, and we go in and do... Uh, mosaic murals and tile also and um, quite often the walls can be anywhere from a 10-foot wall to a 40-foot long wall right. and uh, the students learn to do every process do the whole process and uh, and the final product is a great mural in their school that's gonna stay have any of your students done their own glass mosaics like yours yeah, nobody's doing bottle walls yet. There's one friend out in California. On. No, one friend out in California. She has half her wall up, so she's definitely uh, she's doing it. What's the process to build brick walls like this with the bottles? Uh, basically, we start with a, found, a foundation. We dig a, a footing, and my husband does that. He digs the footing. He he lays the block, and if we're doing it with um, some of some of the walls have really nice stone on the bottom, so he'll do the stone work, and he sets up the if it's going to be a curved wall, he'll set up the curve for me. So when I start putting the bottles in, the uh, they're they're laid with um, the mix. The mortar mix is three parts sand to one part cement. And uh, you you lay them down just as you would brick, but um, they're a little slipperier since they're mm. glass. But you you lay down um, a full row, and then you have to wait a little while for it to set up, and then you start your second row, and it just continue all the way up. And then when you get to the top, you cap it off with a mortar. That's a lot of glass. Do people donate it, or do you just find it all? Uh, my father used to go around on recycling day and uh, and just get bottles out of the recycling containers. But I also have friends that dr used to drop drop bottles, um, you know, in the in the driveway. But back there, I probably have about 14 trash cans filled with bottles. So I I, I don't. You're need, ready. Yeah, I'm ready for the next one. Yeah. What's your favorite um, mosaic or anything that you've made? Uh, one of my favorites is uh, is the Jizu, which is a, a Japanese uh, a Japanese figurine. He's inspired by a Japanese figurine, and generally Jizus have um, babies that they're holding. But this this the one puppy. this this one has a puppy and a puppy hiding on the bottom, and it was inspired by um, a, a red nosed pit bull who lives around on Lowell. And she, she has a very horrific story of her beginnings, but she's a happy puppy now. She was rescued um, from a, a, a Philly uh, SPCA. And so her story inspired that piece, the protection of, uh, of dogs. And this piece actually is uh, a memorial piece for my husband's uh, bass teacher, Mr. Riccardi. And uh, that's another one of my favorites. I like it. I, I, besides it being his, uh, it, it was the exact base that he had, or the exact shape of the cornerless base. Um, that's the first time I, I put bottles and, uh, and mosaics together. Generally, it's one or the other. A lot of hard work goes into this. Is there like any way like people can get your classes or anything to learn how to do this themselves? Oh, sure. They can, um, they, can, they can look online at Perkins Center for the Arts, or if they look at my website, which is www.bottlestructures.com, uh, on there is a contact, and then they can contact me about classes. 
Well, this has been Doug Lang with Jackie Stack Legacos. Jackie, thank you for your time. Thank you for coming by. We'll see you next time on Community Spotlight.